It was a cold night in April. The rain soaked you up faster than a Rutherglen de Riff. A night the critics would later describe as watery with a bit of finish. Best served cold while staying warm. The normal people were locked up in their houses, perhaps perusing the latest Robert Parker, checking the auctions listings for a bargain, or maybe just sitting in that favorite chair by the fire, thinking about a 2005 Malbec they once had, but didn't get the name of and could never find again. Me, I was pulling the midnight shift at the local grape butchers, trying to make a few bucks to book a passage out of this half-bottle town. This was a company town, but it felt like they didn't want mine. I was just about to lock up for the night when in walked a pretty little redhead, all smooth curves and ripe tenons, legs like two slender wine bottles, the sort of bottles that make you want to climb inside and never get out. This was a dame you knew would bring you more trouble than a dame ought to be worth. Reminded me of a sweet little thing I left behind in Sonoma County. I asked her a name, and in a sultry voice she replied, Pino, Pino Noir and suddenly I saw redder than a freshly pressed cabernet. No, you're not, I yelled. Pino's dead. She's been dead for years. Who are you, and what do you want? Well, I guess I must have scared her, because she backed away, and a cork fell out of her pocket. I reached down, picked it up. The stamp read, Domain Embrasse Moi Mortel. A name from a past I thought I'd left long behind. I asked again, Who are you, and what are you doing here? How'd you find me? My name is Surah. I'm Pino's sister. I grabbed her by the shoulders and slapped her harder than the paddles on a poorly maintained crusher to stimmer. Don't lie to me, I knew Pino for years. She never mentioned any sister. All right, I'm her mother. You look a little young to be her mother. I'm her mother. I'm her sister. I'm her mother. I'm her sister. I'm her mother and her sister. They say you can never drink the same bottle twice. I don't know if that's true. Maybe I'm more a whiskey man now.